Hey, what is up everyone? It's me, Sarah. Um, welcome to whatever hell this ends up being. It was gonna be, be sort of like a haul video, mainly for Amazon, but then I remembered I only ordered two things from Amazon. They're boring. It's not here yet. I'm actually looking out the window right now, waiting for the Amazon truck in case, you know, they miraculously show up so I can show off that crap too. Also, my dog's right here. You can't see him, but if anything moves around, totally blame it on the dog. Um, well, my, I just realized how not in the shot I was, so from here, let's just dive into what I bought. Also, half of it is open and the food stuff I bought is basically eaten, so this, this is gonna be a journey for us all. Let's begin. So the first stuff we're gonna go into is the stuff I got from Plato's Closet. Um, it's a secondhand place because I'm poor. <laughs> um, that's basically it. I usually don't tell people I get most of my clothes there because when I, the times I have, hasn't been good. I, let's just say always wash stuff from secondhand places. Okay, okay, we'll just go into this. So first of all, fuck. First of all, before I was interrupted by my camera falling over again. Um, first of all, let's see what I got here. First thing I got, was this nice skirt because, um, newsflash, I'm going to be studying abroad and I need to look my sharpest, my best. And from the foreign exchange students at my school this year, I learned that they love fancier clothes like this. So I've got a nice skirt. I don't know if it fits me because, uh, fun fact, I never try clothes on in the stores. It scares me. I'm first of all afraid of video cameras being there. And second of all, I'm afraid of, um, I'm afraid of a lot of things. I'm having non-flashbacks right now. But anyways, moving on. I also got this uh, cute little uh, t-shirt and it has a nice cactus on it. But yeah, just a nice simple t-shirt. Um, I really shouldn't be buying summer clothes at this point because uh, my new flash, my exchange gonna be in Sweden. All right, I'm just gonna move on. We're just, we're editing this whole thing. It's gonna be cut down probably from this 20 minutes to to nothing because I'm probably not gonna post this because I'm really self-conscious about this. <laughs> also, it's bad. It's so bad, man. All right, so, okay, this I'm proud of. Brand new, let me flex that, Adidas jacket. Guess how much, fellas? Eight dollars. Booyah, you know? And I think like the original, I don't actually know the original price and I'm not gonna look it up, but maybe I'll flash it here just to, just to let you know my total savings. I can't tell if that's the mail truck, that may be my Amazon package. I don't think that's the Amazon package. I'm just staring at this van like a psycho, but pretty much anyone who drives a van is a psycho. Actually, that might be the Amazon people. They're delivering to another door. I'm closing this window right now so they don't see me filming because I'm scared. Now it's a follow me around vlog. Let's go get my Amazon. I don't think he was dropping off my package after all. Never mind. I look like an idiot. Haha. <laughs> Got it. Oh. There he is. My best boy. Boom. Okay, so we're finally fucking back after that little excursion. Um, so I'll finish off the Plato's Closet stuff, then open my Amazon package for you guys. Sorry, I thought I saw someone behind me for a second, but it's just my jacket over there. Okay, so next we just have a nice little t-shirt. You know, in my head, this was gonna be a lot more entertaining, but guess not, guess not everyone. You know what, I tried. That's more than I've done in my entire school career in, in anything. I have no talents and you know, I hear footsteps and I don't think anyone else is home, so I'm scared. Is that my friend? Oh. A disappointing day for everyone. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, I thought I got more, but the final item from Plato's Closet is this fantastic sweater. So, I don't need as many sweaters as I have, but what are you gonna do about it, you know? Oh, also, keep my hat here. Fantastic, my friend made it for me. We all got matching ones for our little crew, and you know, that's what real homies do. 
you're not friends with anyone until you get matching clothes. That's just the law of the land. Now, let's move on to the Amazon package that I find exciting, but no one else is going to. Actually, I hope this is for me and not my dad. Let's just hope. Okay, so the thing is, I have the dexterity of a quadriplegic monkey. Meaning this is proving very difficult for me. I'm not, we'll just, oh, I got it. Okay, ooh. Okay, so what I was really excited about um, were these packing cubes. Um, so these bad boys, you put all your clothes in it and like, it's kind of like, oh, what, what are they called? Those, those plastic bags that people used to buy for their luggage and then they'd use a vacuum and they'd, it'll suck it all out, that's the word. It's like that, but you don't have to use the vacuum part. You just have an extra zipper here. All we're gonna put my Plato's closet clothes in one of these and see how it works. And look at all the designs on them. Ah, I'm excited for this. This isn't really that exciting, I'm realizing. <laughs> but see, you know, you put your clothes in there and just... Okay, you know, you know, you're ready to go on your big trip. You're ready. Uh, um, you use... Okay. You see this bad here. boy? So we're just gonna... Freaking... So you zip your clothes up inside it, you know, pretty neat. I'm just realizing this isn't doing what I thought it would do. No, but if you wanted to make it smaller, you can make it bigger by using the second zipper to like expand it or whatever. I think it's kind of cool, you know? One man's trash is another man's treasure. But yeah, we had the mountain ones. Here's a dangerous pair of scissors. We also have um, a nice evergreen forest. I like that one. And... A desert sun. How cute. I actually, okay. I, it's cliche, but I love to travel, you know. And we'll see if I ever do my laundry again. Um, but I just love buying useless stuff like this that I'm probably not gonna even use. I told my mom, I was like, I can justify this by saying it's for my exchange, right? And she's like, okay. And so I did. And I, I shouldn't have wasted $20 on these, I'm now realizing. Let's move on to the- oh, there's- forgot. There's something else in the Amazon bag. I got a nice little wallet. Ooh, this is cute. Here, I'll open it up. It's an RFID protected one too, so like you don't have to worry about your like cards getting like hacked. Like, you get what I mean, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't even get what I mean sometimes. No, but this is really cool. So, oh, it's really nice too. I, you know what? Shout out to Amazon for this bad boy. This is nice. It's also a passport holder. You can fit so much in here, damn. Not gonna lie, this was only like $13, I think, and you could easily pay like upwards of 50 for something like this. So, Amazon, thank you. This isn't sponsored because I have exactly zero followers, but subscribers, followers, whatever. <laughs> but props to you, Amazon, props to you. Okay, so, uh, oh, here's sort of Target slash Fred Meyer. Um, first of all, uh, I ate all these last night. <laughs> Par for the course, you know. Oh, I, I was excited about this, the, Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Oil-Free Serum, and it's like super pretty. Here, let me, I feel like a beauty guru right now, I'm not gonna lie. You like, oof. It's this nice little oil, it's like hydrating and all this, and it's got like a pink sheen. Um, one drawback from this though is last night I put it on my face and I rubbed it into my eyes and it burnt and I cried. And it was an experience and I, think I have a couple cataracts, but other than that, fantastic product, 10 out of 10, would recommend. What else do I have in this bag? Oh. Oh. I have a pair of flip-flops from Fred Meyers, $1. Might as well. I live to be cheap, you know? And when flip-flops go on sale for 99 cents, no matter how horrible quality they may be, you know I'm a waddle the fuck over there. Fuck those bad boys right up, you know? But yeah, so that's kind of the target for Meyer thing. 
you know, I think I got something else, but I took a bunch of stuff out of my ba bags. I can speak out of my bags earlier because this was a couple days ago when I went shopping. So, you know, I'm kind of all over the place. I almost sat on that pair of scissors too from earlier. Okay. Oh, now we have H&M. They were having like a nice sale when I was there and I only got one item here, but I honestly, I love it. It's this fantastic sweater. It's got a nice geometric pattern. I know my shapes. I passed geometry somehow. And the best part about this, $5, originally 50. Now that is a steal, if you know what I mean. I absolutely love this sweater. That's all I really have to say about this. You know, I'm starting to realize I don't really have a much stuff for a haul, but it's too late now, I've committed to it. I have completely committed to this. All right. Last sort of bag that I actually have. Um, so I'm a cheap fit. Ulta. I only got one thing from there this time. I usually kind of go overboard, um, you know, as one does. But I got a Freeman Feeling Beautiful mask. This is the Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon. I used this the other day and it took off like half my eyebrow though. Just fair warning. It, it's like a peel off one, so you know, it was just like a waxing strip, just like bloop. And listen, you wanna know why I'm wearing the hat? It's because I'm pretty much half fucking bald. I can't grow that much hair. So like, I could have at least used a warning on this, that this would make me even more bald, that it would make me look like that monk from, I don't, I don't know any movies with monks in it, but Monk, the TV show, never seen it, but I'm assuming there's a monk in there. But I should have gotten a fair warning on this. It took off like half my eyebrow. And you know, I'm just not here for it. But it did clear up my face, so it did its job, but it also took out half my hair and I look like a naked mole rat. So, you know, that's pretty much my haul. Wow. This is how sad my life has become. Well, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I really appreciate all the support I can get. And if you like the video, just give me a comment down below and tell me what I should do next. Um, oh, my sunglasses. I've been looking for these. No, but anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. It's really nice to have people watch this for once, watch my slow degradation of my mind. <laughs> this was fun. I don't care if this was a hot mess. It was a good time. And that makes any hot mess worth it. So thank you all again, and hopefully I see you next time. Why the hell did I do that? You can't see it, but I'm tearing up at myself under these glasses. That was literally the worst thing I've ever done. That was, that was the equivalent of dropping nukes on someone. That was so bad. I'm so sorry. It's just, I'm so sorry for everyone who just had to see that. Have a good day. Please forget I did that.